Hello there! This is Dennis Branwell from the Star Wars Battlefront 2 team. In the next update, we're returning to the classic Age of Rebellion. You're Play co-op in original era locations, approach the battlefront in new ways with the Ewok and ISP agent, and expand the arsenal with more weapons. Age of Rebellion Co-op introduces intense PvE battles to the ominous second Death Star, no the Great Temple on Javan 4, the snow-covered fields of Hoth, Mos Eisley, Clear out now! Jabba's Palace, the Forest Moon of Endor, Where are they coming from? and the Quaxium Mines on Kessel. As a bonus, we're adding the prequel-era capital ships, the Venator-class Star Destroyer and the Separatist Dreadnought to co-op. The sequel-era MC-85 Star Cruiser and Resurgent-class Star Destroyer will be playable in Heroes vs. Villains in February and in co-op later in March. The Ewok joins the Rebels in their efforts to overcome the tyranny of the Galactic Empire. Wielding a bow and arrow, the furry native of Endor can switch between auto-targeting or manual aim for greater control and output. The Valiant Horn distracts the enemies by deliberately revealing the player on their radar for a short time and increases the Ewok's damage output and resilience. Tossing a pouch of Wisties damages and disorients affected foes and by making use of inborn instincts, the Ewok can uncover nearby opponents. <laughs> the ISB agent, on the other hand, is a devoted representative of the Empire Security Bureau and well-versed in multiple combat scenarios. The dual RK-3 blaster pistols are highly effective at close to mid-range and can be overcharged into a longer-range power blast. While active, the assault training ability increases her speed and reduces incoming damage while sprinting. The ISB agent also uses Imperial Intel to reveal enemies and toughen up her allies with a morale boosting cry. Double your efforts! We're also expanding our selection of weapons for all trooper classes. The assault gets the E11D blaster. The officer acquires the DL18 blaster pistol. The heavy receives the T21 and the specialist gets the crude cycler rifle. All weapons will be customizable with modifications. That's all for this update, but here's a peek at what's coming in the next one. Thanks for watching and may the force be with you.